Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Captain James Bollinger and today I'd like to bring you a, a tour of um, Porchester Castle which is managed by English Heritage uh, and whilst I'm on the subject of English Heritage I'd just like to say a big thank you to the volunteer uh, Bob who we met at uh, Porchester Castle who gave us a, a, a mini guided tour uh, and, a, and a talk on all the inside and local history of the castle, especially around the graffiti that's there and uh, local uh, hauntings and ghostly stories that he knew of, uh, which is uh, very interesting. So if you get down to Porchester Castle, make sure you meet Bob and uh, make sure you get all the information you can out of him because he's an absolute asset uh, to the site. Um, but uh, before we go on my tour around it and I'll take you on it, I uh, just want to tell you a bit about a bit of background about uh, Porchester Castle. It's in Hampshire, uh, built in the third uh, third century as a Roman shore fort. So it had a very similar role to Pevensey that you've probably already seen on another video on the channel. Um, built around the same time, 268 AD by the Romans. Uh, the Romans left in the fifth century. Uh, between the fifth century and the eleventh century. Saxons established it as a, one of their communities inside the, the Roman walls <clears throat> and um, in 1066 the Normans took over and built a inner bailey and a keep uh, which you can still still explore and more or less intact um, for, for, uh, to this day because I've had a walk around it there's a theatre in there uh, that the Napoleonic prisoners of war built um, all sorts of things, great adventure, you can go right to the top of the um, keep and that gives you a great uh, uh, advantageous view over the Solent. So you can really get into the mindset of military commanders of, uh, of the medieval times and Tudor times as well. So uh, why don't you come and join me, let's have a look around the castle. Welcome to the aerial view of Porchester Castle where you can see where the inner bailey and the great tower now stands. Uh, to the sides of that, you can see the uh, Roman fort wall and its uh, D tower, uh, D towers. Uh, there, there was originally 20 of these towers and there are now only 16 survive. The great tower uh, that was built in 1130 um, and that's the strongest point, that's the actual keep of the Norman castle. Originally there would have been a wooden structure there uh, and then um, it also was a, a royal residence Porchester Castle uh, with Richard II having his palace and apartments built from 1396. Well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, little look round of Porchester Castle. It's worth mentioning of course that the graffiti that you saw uh, was done by uh, or etched into the wall uh, were, were done by all the prisoners of war uh, right from I understand uh, medieval times going forwards uh, and they're not quite sure exactly how old some of it is it was suggested by Bob to us that the the, the, uh, the swirly patterns that you saw were possibly medieval there were some Dutch words there as well uh, prill or prowl I think uh, translate into rubbish and I think some of that was in reference to the French nobility surnames that had been etched in onto the wall but the as you walk around the rest of the castle in particular in the keep where the um, prisoners slept uh, during the Napoleonic times uh, you'll see more uh, graffiti inside there now I did film uh, in there on purpose because I obviously want to leave something to your imagination uh, but it's well worth um, having a look inside and around there. There are some uh, ghostly tales, but you'd need to talk to uh, the, the volunteer for English Heritage, Bob. He'll tell you all about that. Uh, the the theatre that I mentioned as well, that's all intact. If you to see, you can have a good look at that. The Napoleonic um, prisoners of war set that up to keep themselves uh, entertained, to keep their morale up. Uh, and you can get right up the tower either through a modern set of stair, stairs or the, the original um, medieval stairs that are there. So I felt I, I used the medieval stairs to get to the top. I felt it was a lot quicker and efficient to get up there, but the steps are very narrow. So please be careful if you have any mobility issues when ascending the keep. 
Um, so an interesting place. Oh, well, when you buy your ticket and go through the gate, you go through a, a building that apparently was Henry VIII's kitchen that he had installed because he did like his food. And um, yeah, I mean, around when you leave the, the inner bailey and you walk around the, the castle at the fort walls, uh, you'll see that you actually enter through the Roman gatehouse that was uh, repaired. And right down the other end, you'll see opposite the sea gate and that's where the Solent comes up to um, almost the fort walls. Uh, uh, but when the when the tide used to go out, uh, they'd bury the dead, anyone that had died, in, in the mud flaps there. And they're still there, the remains are still there. So a very interesting place nonetheless. I'll put the uh, English Heritage description below. Uh, so it'll give you more details of uh, some, the history of the place and how to get there car parking uh, you have to pay for no matter who you are even if you're an English Heritage member but as I said it's nice it's a lovely stroll round the church has a cafe in it which is lovely they do an excellent cream tea um, and, and just enjoy the castle it's a fantastic place Porchester village itself is absolutely gorgeous but unfortunately it's only got one pub uh, but don't let that put you off get to the, get to the castle have a look round it really is fascinating. Uh, talk to the volunteers in English Heritage uh, and just enjoy yourselves. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.